So example five is just a simple thought experiment. Um, it says, what happens when you put a metal ring on top of a solenoid and then run a current through that solenoid? Okay. Uh, what will that ring do? Will it move? Will it attract to the solenoid? Will it move away? Will it move to the side? And the answer is rather easy. Um, so basically, you have to think about the before and after. Before there was no magnetic field. After there's this powerful magnetic field. Okay. And so what happened? Well, the magnetic flux changed. And so there's an electromotive um, force that's proportional to the change in flux. Okay. And the current is formed in such a direction, according to Lenz's law, to try to recreate what situation existed before the change. So this thing is going to try to create a magnetic field that points downward. Okay. So what kind of field do you need for a downward? Well, you just put your thumb in the direction. There's the current. Okay. So you can say, oh, the current's going to loop around this way, right? And the net result is that, you know, so here you have a current flowing this way. Now you have a current flowing the opposite way. Which, what do wires that are flowing in opposite directions do? They repel each other. So this, this loop is going to whoop, fly up and shoot into the air. The stronger the solenoid, um, put an iron core in there if you want a really strong magnetic field, as we learned about in, um, in ferromagnetism. Um, the higher that loop will jump. So, good times.